everybody, Susan LaCroix. I'm a demonstrator with Stampin' Up! And I wanted to film um, some of the uh, pre-order things I was able to get from the upcoming catalog that starts in June. So I just thought I would share a little bit. I Actually, my pre-order came yesterday and I went on live, uh, Facebook Live with my customers and had them watch me do the grand unveiling of everything. But I wanted to do a little bit more organized approach today. So um, what happens is when you're a demonstrator with Stampin' Up, you can attend the events and they're called on stage and that at on stage we get the upcoming catalog so we get a, we're the first ones who get to see it and they also have something called premier purchase product or premier product purchase and so we are able to order um, for a very limited time just a few days um, some items from the catalog so we get a little brochure and it kind of gives us some um, um, things that we can order uh, then all the demonstrators can start to pre-order in early May again just from a select amount of product and then on, in June when the catalog goes live then everybody customers and demonstrators can order anything out of the catalog so the fun thing is here is a peek of the catalog cover I have to lift it up okay so you can all see it um, I can't open it and show you what's inside it uh, but I can show you things that I already have in person and I can show you um, things that I've made with it or samples that other people have made as well. So I've got this organized into bins. And so um, as I'm done with one bin, I'm going to move it to the other side of the table. And so you might see hands kind of taking bins away and adding bins to the other side. Uh, so we'll try to do it kind of seamlessly. And I thought what I would do is I would start with the new in colors. And they are stunning. So here we go. Here is Seaside Spray, um, and we're going to get the camera angled down a little bit for you so you can see. So there we go. So Seaside Spray, Pretty Peacock, Rococo Rose, Purple Posy, and Terracotta Tile. Aren't they lovely? So I was able to purchase some cardstock and the ink pads. So I'm just going to lay these out real quick so you can kind of see them. They're lovely colors. They really are. I think they're going to be a great complement to our um, um, our core colors, and as well as just standing alone because they really are just very lovely. All right, so I'm going to take these off, and I used a stamp set to do some simple stamping, and I used the um, to a wild rose. So here's the stamp set. And it does come with some coordinating framelits, which I think are real pretty. I'm really interested in playing with that little edge. All right, then, so let me show you the cards that I made. So just using some simple stamping with the colors. Um, this is so pale that you really can't differentiate a whole lot. I mean, some of the darker colors really, when you stand, do some stamping off, you can really tell. So anyway, those are the little cards I made. All right, so that are our, those are our new in colors. So one of the things we got to take home with us was a pack of designer series paper, and this is called Mosaic, Mosaic Mood. It's a Mosaic Mood Suite. When I first saw this in the catalog, I was like, yeah, that's kind of pretty. Um, eh, it was kind of okay. And then when I got home and I took it apart, I went, wow, um, I'm glad I bought the stamp set and the coordinating product <laughs> with it. So I'm going to very quickly kind of span this out and show you the different um, pieces of paper here. So if I can do this. So what you can't see on camera, unfortunately, is that some of this, one side of this, has some like clear embossing on it so that you, it just really makes the paper, I think. But it's got some pretty bird images and the rose image, and uh, just fan this all out. There we go. So this is the paper. There's some more paper that I cut up to do um, a project at my team meeting, because of course I had a team meeting as soon as I got back. Um, so this is the a piece that we used. We cut some strips of this. Here's the flip side of that. It's kind of the embossed uh, mosaic tile. And then this piece, which is very similar to this piece, but in yellows, uh, we 
fussy cut out to the flowers. The flip side of this are like the embossed leaves. And here is the project that we made. Whoop, let me flip it around so you can see it. So there's you know some things that um, I mean, there's just lots of nice colors, and I, that terracotta, oof, just really makes this set. Okay, so that is the paper, so let me slide this out of the way and show you some of the other pieces of this suite. This is the uh, memorable um, mosaic stamp set, which I didn't have. We just had to use the designer series paper. And there's also a timeless label punch that comes with it. And I punched out one so that it wouldn't, you could see it not so much with the glare of the metal. So it's just kind of, kind of a nice, nice punch. And it, it really, the, the phrases fit just so nicely in there. So that's the punch. It also comes with these fun little flowers. These are um, kind of faceted flower embellishments that are really pretty. And then some uh, mint macaron ribbon, which is just it's nice and satiny looking, and it's nice and soft and easy to work with and easy to tie. So you'll be able to get some of that with it. So those are some of the things that are in this suite. All right, the next one is probably one of my absolute favorites, and it is called the um, Magnolia Lane. And I'm going to start with the paper because that's probably my favorite. This. So I'm going to, again, I'm going to fan this out so you can kind of see this beautiful, beautiful paper. And I just love the black background. I had some wallpaper in a home many years ago that was very similar to this. And I absolutely loved it. And then just, you know, pair that with some of the soft peaches and the greens. And it's just absolutely lovely. And it almost looks like it has kind of a linen look to it. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but it kind of looks linen, linen-y, if that is a word. So just, um, I'm just going to kind of slide these through here. There we go. That striped is really pretty. There we go. So th those are the papers with Magnolia Lane. Get these out of the way. I'm going to show you some of the rest of that. The stamp set has uh, Good Morning Magnolia. I don't know if you can kind of see that this, this big magnolia I just love it and of course there's framelits to go with that as well okay so that is I don't have any projects made with this so sorry about that but some fun things to go with it um, in the um, holiday catalog we had some of these um, cards and or, uh, memories and more cards and envelopes I hope you can see these are envelope liners and we have different size envelopes and the cards and this memories and more kit that kind of coordinates with it but look at some of these images there's some vellum pieces in here and some just cards that you can stamp some greetings on or you and me I mean there's just all kinds of different ones that are great for memory keeping they're great for making cards you are loved um, and so you can make a bunch of cards with this very easily and very quickly with the Memories and More Card Kit and the cards and envelopes. All right. Then um, the rest of what coordinates with this, here's some little cork elements that kind of coordinate with it too. So there's some leaves and flowers and some tags that you can stamp on, which will be a fun little addition. And some really pretty ribbon. So I'm really liking this. Let's see if I can pull some of this out. Um, some of this mossy meadow linen thread and some of the looks like Sahara sand um, that coordinates with it all. This very linen-y kind of coordinates with the designer series paper. On the page next to the Magnolia Lane is um, Good Morning Magnolia. No, it is not. It is Garden Lane. <laughs> Let me take my cheat sheets, little notes off there. So this, while it, it's it's meant to kind of coordinate with it, it stands alone on its own, but it um, 
but it also kind of coordinates with everything. So using your Stamparatus, you can line these images up very easily, very quickly, and uh, it'd be kind of pretty. So let's take a look at this designer series paper real quick. We're trying to keep um, noise down to a minimum here. All right, so let me just fan some of this out. So if you if you like green, if green is your color, you're gonna love this paper because it's tons of different shades. Not quite like Ireland where there's 40 shades of green, but there is some beautiful paper here, kind of gardeny. So there's that to coordinate with it. So I think it's gonna be very, very pretty. Okay, that's that paper. All right. Um, the next suite is again going to be one of my favorites, and we were, we made a project with this at um, on stage. Um, this is free as a bird, and this is the bird ballad suite here. And what go, coordinates with this as part of the bundle are these nested labels, nested stitch labels. So very very much like some of the other stitch labels that we have, um, but a, just a new shape. So lots of fun and kind of an edging one. So let me show you the. Um, card we made with this at, let me get these off so you can see. Um, this is the card we made at On Stage. And some new really pretty lace ribbon. It's very soft and very easy to use. And so we just stamped it with Memento and then we used our stamp and Blends, our alcohol markers, to um, color in the birds and the flowers. But this paper is absolutely stunning. So I'm going to show you that right now. So this is the Bird Ballad Suite paper. And wait till you see some of these. I'm gonna turn this so you can kind of see the birds, but what fun is this paper? There's soft colors, there's vibrant colors, and if you love birds, well, my mother is so excited. She is um, very anxious to come down and, and stamp with me in my stamp room. So my mom, she loves birds of all kinds, and so she is very anxious to come down and stamp with me and start making some projects. But you know, little feathers and birds in flight and just, you know, some flowers on branches. And so just lots of fun colors in um, some papers. So um, I'm going to move this out of the way and show you um, this little box that you can order as part of the suite. It's a little tin box, it's kind of peachy color, and it's got some gold, or maybe it's green on there, I'm not sure. But what's inside is really, really stunning. So you get these laser cut cards, and I just put some black under one of them so you can really see the difference. So all the cards have the same laser cut design, and of course you can turn them portrait or landscape. But isn't that lovely? Put a greeting on there, put a bow on there, and you're done. So you would just glue it to this side of the laser paper so that you would have the inside of that. So what uh, the envelopes uh, that come with this are scalloped edged on the flap. So you can make a beautiful set of cards. You can use the tin and gift the cards. You could keep the tin, put candy in it or cookies. So that is that one. Uh, a couple little things that come with this suite. I mentioned that lace ribbon earlier. So here's hopefully a closer look if you can see it. Um, very soft, very easy to use. It kind of stretches a little bit too, so it'll be fun to work with this. And then these little bird ballad trinkets. I am a, a vintage shabby chic lover, and so I'm in love with this catalog because these images are just right up my alley. There's little bows and little flowers and little leaves and oh, little keys. Isn't that fun? So again, right up my alley. And you don't have to use these with just the birds, so you can use them um, with just about anything. So let me get these trinkets off, cover these up. All right, so the next one is the Perennial, um, perennial Essence Suite. And the star of this suite, I believe, is the Designer Series paper. So if you like Monet, <laughs> you're gonna love this paper. My youngest daughter is a huge fan of Monet, so I have to kind of slide this over so I can show you some of these um, hand-covered, hand-painted um, images. And it looks like it's been, it's on canvas. So one side has a lot of the um, Impressionist images and the, the other side is more of a neutral um, 
palette so that you know kind of coordinates with them. But look at that. I think that's one of my favorites. So just again very rich, very artistic. You can just frame some of these, you know, and put them in your room, your home. Look at that. Oh, I just love those flowers. And the more muted tones at the back. That would be a great background stamp. All right, so what else comes with this, and this is kind of fun, is some vellum cardstock in some, a couple different colors. So if you can see this, there's kind of a peachy color and like an old olive and then a bright yellow. So that also coordinates with this and just even like an overlay with a label on it. Oh, so pretty, so pretty. All right, so that's the paper. And here's the stamp set called Floral Essence. And we were, we did make a card with this um, at on stage, And we used the um, new flora, perennial flower punch that kind of coordinates with it. So we stamped these images twice and then um, cut them out and put them you know, glued them together. And then the centers of these flowers are perennial essence floral centers, and they're kind of little little fuzzy yellow centers that have adhesive on them so that um, um, you can just pop them up and give some dimension to your flowers. And then we use some of the twine from the other suite, the uh, Magnolia Lane suite, to tie a little bow. And then the other thing that comes with this, let me move these out of the way, is um, this beautiful ribbon. So it's kind of a striped organdy ribbon in like one color. Um, but you can probably take your blends if you want to color this and make a different color. But this is such a pretty color. So that is that one. All right, so um, there is a, an increased focus this year on cards for men. And I'm thrilled because sometimes I really struggle with that. So I'm going to, again, start with the designer series paper. So some very uh, masculine kind of, you know, little sailboats. And again, kind of that linen-y cloth look, almost like um, sail canvas, if you are you know how to, if you sail at all around the water. I love this. Whew, just think it's so pretty. Um, I love the knots, and there's actually a stamp with that same image. And this one, I'm going to pull this out a little bit because it's quite, it's got a, a lot going on for it. So kind of that vintage newsprinty look with some sepia tones. Um, so in our world, that's soft suede. Um, like a chart. So if you're on the water and know how to navigate around with charts. Some compasses. Just some um, basic stripes. Some sextants and other sailing gear. Some little lighthouses and some other bolder stripes, Knight of Navy. Beautiful paper. Just love, love, love this suite. And so I'm going to show you now, oh, there we go, the, um, the stamp set, Sailing Home. So it has, again, it's got sailboats in it, and a lighthouse, and a compass, and an anchor, and some birds, and the knots, and some great, I love the font of this thing. And we use this to make um, this card at on stage, a little note card. We just took some of the designer series paper and some of the little trinkets, and I'll show you those in a minute. And then I also, um, we did this at a team meeting Monday night when I got home. So we just used one of the sailboats, did a wash along the back. Well, we did a wash here too. And then um, just stamped some knots along the side. And I just took, after I stamped this in Night of Navy, I just took a blender pen and kind of pulled in some of the color just to add a little bit to the, the sailboat. So those were the so two projects that we're using this suite. Um, so some of the things, oh here, I should show you um, the framelits, or the dies, excuse me, the dies that go along with this. So you've got them for the sailboat, you've got them for the lighthouse and the anchor, and some, some seaweed and some other images that aren't, that are, you know, just coordinate with the stamp. So um, they might not, like this little knot, it's not going to cut this image out, but it'll give you a knot, an embossed die, you know, die cut. And a couple of labels. Um, so a lot of fun. I think there's a lot of potential with this one. This also has some Memories and More cards to go with it, um, which would be great just to make a whole set of cards. I mean, look at these. These are just so sweet. You know, and they're two-sided. All of our Memories and More cards are. So hello, handsome. That's for my husband. So, 
anyway, here are some of these cards. So you could, like I said, you can make up a ton of cards um, for the guys in your life. Oh, and there's some laser cut images in here. Look at that with the ship's wheel. And the seaweed. Yeah, how pretty is that? So lots of fun that you can coordinate using the designer series paper and the memories and more. And there, there's a couple little embellishments to go along with this. Um, if you saw it on the card, let me pull the card back out so you can see. So this Baker's Twine um, is Sahara Sand and Night of Navy, and the colors go well together anyway. I've used that a number of times. And then there's these fun little embellishments. There's anchors and ship's wheels in here. And they're nice and flat, so they won't add a lot of dimension if you need to mail a card. So, there we go. Pretty, pretty, pretty. So I was happy to see it. There's, there's a, a lot of masculine kinds of sets in here. All right. So this guy is the Follow Your Art Suite. And um, let me show you the paper for this. So I'm going to follow my same pattern with that. Oh, sorry about that, guys. All right, so... Um, I see sampler in this suite, and I'm, I'm going to make one for my craft room and maybe offer it as a class, but, you know, just lots of fun, <laughs> glue and stamps and buttons and uh, stars, just a oh, fun paper, fun, fun, fun. But there's another stamp set that's in the current catalog that's carrying over that I think would coordinate with this quite well as well, and of course the name escapes me right now, but here's one with like palette knives and, and oh, there it is, thanks. Um, paper clips, I mean, just fun, fun images that, you know, we can do. Look at this. I love this. So, you know, we can just get the creative side in us out. So the stamp set that I was talking about that coordinates, well, first let me show you this one. The name of this stamp set, set is, <coughs> excuse me, it starts with art. And we made a card with this at on stage. So this is the one we made using the spools of ribbon and uh, just some strips of the paper and um, stamping the buttons in the background. So fun, 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 fun. It kind of coordinates, I think, with um, Crafting Forever, which is carrying over. So you've got, you can you use the two and just really have some fun with that. Um, let me show you a couple things that go along with the suite. We have an embossing folder called Button Buttons. So hopefully you can see the images in here in the embossing folder that coordinates with it. There's also some washi tape. So if you'll notice, if you can see real closely, um, we've got some washi tape that has Stampin' Up! on it. So I have to show you this box. This is going to not stay here. All right. So we have, from the Follow Your Art suite, some boxes with, whoop, it's upside down with Stampin' Up. And um, so you can put these together, and if you want, you can always cover up the Stampin' Up! label with another label, but honestly, why would you want to? <laughs> so here's one that we have kind of put together already, just to show you. This was uh, These were on our tables, and um, I, I asked the, uh, my table gate mates if they minded if I took it since I had a team meeting, and they told me to, so... I kind of flattened it out to come. It's kind of got beat up in the luggage, but uh, these come five to a package. So I think that would be a fun little thing to do. And then the last piece in this suite is this embellishment box. And this kind of coordinates, as you can probably tell, with the designer series paper. And there's just a few fun things in here. So there's some linen thread and a couple of the coordinating colors. There is a little package with some charms in here and some cute little paper clips. And actually, I think um, in, in the framelits, and maybe I didn't show you that, there is a little, um, I, th I think there's um, a die with the paper clips. But anyway, there's, um, this is actually when I saw this, I um, um, thought of sampler. And there's these little fun embellishments. These are felt, and so they just kind of pop out, and so you can glue these onto your projects as well. And then the um, the um, arts and crafts dies that go with it. So there's buttons, and there's like a little stamp, and a like a little glue bottle or whatever. The pens, some edging, um, and there's that little paper clip that you can die cut out. How cute is that? All right. So that is that sweet. 
this all put out of the way. And then the last couple things to show you are some bundles. And this one is the Bloom and Grow bundle. And these make up really pretty. Um, I saw some samples on the boards that I, I took some photos of. But I love the font in some of the greetings. And, you know, you can um, die cut these out because you've got some dyes here that will do that. But you can watercolor them and you can put like one set of flowers on the top and another set on the bottom and then put your um, sentiment in the middle of that. And it makes up very pretty. Very, very pretty. So I um, haven't played with this one yet, but some scallop edging. Oof. Love me some flowers. And then the last thing I have to show you today is the Above the Clouds bundle. So we have a stamp set with some dynamic, um, not dynamic, some um, distinctive stamps that make this really pretty um, hot air balloon. So you've got some bigger ones, you've got some little ones, you've got some fun sentiments, some clouds. And then we have a coordinating punch that, um, let me see if I can put this on here so you can see it better. So we have a little thing there and a little basket under here. There we go. So hopefully you can see it better. So it punches it out. It's great. And um, I think this will be a fun set too. Masculine, feminine, kids, it'll be fun. All right. Well, thank you so much for taking a long time here to watch me this morning and kind of see some of the new products that are coming out in the upcoming catalog. So I appreciate you watching my YouTube video. Please subscribe, leave me a comment, tell me what you think. Um, you can also find me on my website. Oops, okay. Um, it'll, it'll be at the bottom. My blog and my website will be in the comment section or the, under, under the video. All right, everybody, thank you again so much for watching, and until next time, happy stamping. Bye.